everyone reads it. Do they read as much as they want? Or do, do they read just a sentence? Pardon me? A paragraph. A paragraph. Is that the best way to do it, do you think? Oh, I think about it. How about if I read a paragraph and then we'll start and you guys read a paragraph? How about that? Because I think one of the goals is not that I'm so smart. That's not that. It's because I'm a native speaker. And I think one of the goals of the class is that you listen to a native speaker. So it's not that I think I'm so good at this. It's just that I know the language. So I'll start. Yes, ma'am, please. Uh, please. Uh, I, I like the way you teach. Uh, the first day that you uh, you pick up something, pick something up. For example, uh, you talk about bad guy and you ask, oh, and the bad guy. Okay. And you explain the bad guy can be this and that. I see. So okay. You pick something up. Okay. I like it. Okay. Thank you. I'll see if I can do that again. We'll see if that happens. You're welcome. Um, I believe if this teacher remembers, we were on page 11, and I believe. We were on the third paragraph where it says, but Kino. Does anyone want to disagree? Okay. All right. So here's the deal. In this chapter, we've kind of been hearing about the bad stuff that all these people are saying, whoa, they've got the perk. And we kind of wish we had it instead. That's the way I interpret what's going on. So I'm going to start reading. Here we go. But Kino and Juana did not know these things. They were happy and excited. They thought that everyone felt the same way. Well, excuse me, the same way Juan, Thomas, and Apollonia did. In the afternoon, Kino sat in his house with Juana at his side. The house was crowded with neighbors. Kino held the great pearl in his hand, and it was warm and alive in his hand. And when the music of the pearl uh, joined the music of the family, each song became more beautiful. So, Song, would you need read the next, uh, Chop, excuse me, I'm thinking about songs. Chop, would you read the next paragraph? Then what Thomas, sitting next to Kino, asked, What will you do now? You have become Irish man. Kino looked into his phone. Donna covered her face so nobody could see her excitement. And in the shining holes just formed in the crowd, he saw Kona and Koyotito and himself standing in a church. Now they could pray, he spoke softly. We will be married in the church. Did we know they were unmarried before? Did we know that? I mean, I don't know. I'm really asking you. Did we know? I kind of always assumed they were husband and wife. I don't think that we knew before. Did what do you think, Toy? Did it say it in the story so far? They do have maybe maybe not married before. Okay, cause poor. Poor, yes. How much money does it cost to get married in Thailand? It depends on what? How high you reach. Oh! So if I don't have money. Okay, but if I still am very poor and I want to get married, first I have to find a man. But if there's a man then we can still get married even though we don't have money? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. Do monks, I know you don't get married, <laughs> but who do I go to to get married? A monk doesn't marry me, does he? No, I mean, who do I go to? A priest? Who? 
is in charge of the marriage ceremony. Pardon me? The house, the house, be the parents. The parents marry you? Yeah, parents well, will allow you and well, they wait you. Okay, so they would allow me to if I were young. But who do I, who does Mr. Handsome over here and I, who do we go to to actually perform the ceremony? No. Oh, so isn't there a special ceremony? <laughs> really? Do we sign our names together? Right? Yeah. You go to an office and sign that. Oh, I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm just surprised. You you are you are you are uh, thinking about uh, when in, for example, in America, you and a uh, a uh, very handsome man go to and um, the the priest yeah. is in front of you, right? That yes. You you meet that man, right? Yes. Uh, yes. What? So typically, not always. Even if you don't have much much money, mm -hmm. typically there's some sort of ceremony where either a judge comes and marries you, or you go to a church. Some people spend thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. Really, ten, twenty thousand dollars on these enormous ceremonies. My daughter is getting married this summer. She's just gonna have a little, tiny party with little family, little family. Her dad, my former husband, is a judge, so he will perform the ceremony. But uh, well, that's interesting about. It. I like the title. Okay, here we go. In the pearl, he saw how they were dressed. Juana was in a new skirt. Under the long skirt, Kino could see that she wore shoes. He was dressed in new white clothes and he carried a new black hat. He also wore new shoes. And Coyotito wore a blue suit from the United States and a little hat. All of these things Kino saw in the shiny pearl. We will have new clothes, he said. Um, Sue, could you continue reading, please? And if anyone really doesn't want to read, they can say no thank you. That's fine. And the music of the fur blue uncle in his in his ear. Okay. And if you just do one, do you mind doing the next one? Is that okay or not? Is that okay? Thank you. So then came the little things that you know wanted. New fishing equipment and in his mind could, make, could not be it a gun. Why not? If, if he was so rich, his mouth moved slowly over this a gun. He said, maybe a gun. Thank you. It was the gun that suddenly brought larger dreams. People are never happy with what they have. If you give them one thing, they want something more. People say this is a bad thing, but it is one of the greatest things about people. It makes them better than animals. Animals are happy with what they have. Now, I'm just telling you this. I hate that paragraph. Ooh, and I, maybe you guys don't say the word hate. Excuse me. I really don't like that paragraph at all. Um, I don't like what it says to me, that people are better than animals because people want stuff. I don't like it, but that's just my opinion. Do you, can I ask you this, wonderful Thai people? It says, people are never happy with what they have. Do you agree with that? Yes. You do? Who said yes? Was it Tim? No. No. <laughs> Nam, was it you? Excuse me. Do you think people are ever happy with what they have? It's the real thing in the normal life of everybody, I think, not yes. 
but I really like him because when he said that he has enough. Oh, okay. Enough. Oh, the king says that. Yeah. Oh, fascinating. The king says that. Wowza. Melly, what do you think? Do you think most people um, are never happy except for what the king says? Do you think most people are never happy with what they have, that they always want more? Happy with what they have? Hello. Or is that right? Or can monks want more? Do you understand, Sean? Go ahead, coach. Are are monks? Do you think monks are happy with what they have? Or do you think monks want more things? You don't know. Okay. Hey, Sarah, what do you think? Do you think most people are happy with what they have? Or do you think most people want more things? Most people want more things. Think so? Mm, okay. Okay. I was just curious. I'm, I'm very uncomfortable with this paragraph, though. I don't like what. Pardon me. I just don't like what they're saying. To me, they're saying in that paragraph that it's better to want stuff. That it's good to always want more and more. In my mind, I don't think that's right. I think it's better to be happy with what you've got. That's, that's my opinion. I'm not saying it should be everybody's. But that's why I'm, I'm comfortable with it.